on your side. This is a 12 News Today update. Time now 726. We're here in the social media center taking a closer look at some accent scene pictures that we've been following here along I-95 invol involving two tractor trailers here. Look at the mangled metal as the front of this car crashed into the guardrail. Now we're still seeing a pretty significant backup as crews are working to clear the scene. Uh, we had some wood spill. We had some diesel fuel spill. So if we head over to the traffic, uh, the green screen here, we can take a closer look at that backup. So the crash occurred 95 northbound near mile marker 88. Now this is a VDOT camera here at mile marker 86. So you do the math. We're seeing a significant backup still here in the area. At one point, all northbound lanes were closed here. But as of right now, we only have the right lane, but we're still seeing significant residual delays in the area. So the crash once again occurred here. You see that red. That's where the crash occurred. The delay still stretching back towards that sliding hill exit. That's because we have a second crash that occurred in the middle of the, de the delays here at mile marker 87. So so your best bet here, if we can switch over to the Waze app, is to use Route 1 as your alternate. That's Brook Road, because if you stay along I-95, it will take you an estimated 24 minutes to get you northbound. And it usually, Andrew, only takes you about 10 minutes. And you can stop by Virginia.